Hi, my name is Umar and today we will be reviewing this pickup version of Daihatsu Hijet. Our website is www.bamwheels.com. You can check the website out if you want to see my detailed opinion about the cars that we review. Also, we have our Instagram channel which is Bam Wheels. You can follow us on Instagram if you want to see the cars that we'll be reviewing in future. We have already covered the Hijet van variant. So, I'm not going to uh, share the history and all that. That's already covered. You can check it out if you're interested. I'll tell you how this car, which is like a pickup truck of that, thing is different compared to the van and then we will take it for a road drive to see how it drives. The front of this car is uh, exactly like the van variant of this car. So you have your headlights, you have a little hood, you have your wiper washers, you have the Daihatsu's logo bumper with your radiator grill a part of the bumper so the entire front is exactly the same as it is in the van variant in order to open this portion you just gotta press this button and then this one opens now over here you have your wiper washer fluid your radiator fluid your uh, radiator coolant bottle that is all that you have over here plus you also have the AC gas filling from here that's all you have over here now when you come to the side of the car you don't have a much to tell it's just like a normal standard car no design element or cuts the interesting thing like, i find this extremely interesting is these rear doors now in a pickup truck normally you expect the rear doors to be like, like a normal car kind of a rear doors but this one has the same rear doors that come with the van so when you open it it slides like this and if you can see this portion is with the open bed so it i kind of find it funny the way this is working so this is how the engine is uh, both these seats are individually opening seats they don't open like in one go you can open half of the engine if you want if you have something to do on that side or this side air filter is over there the oil chamber is over here so whatever you need to open you can open you don't have to open everything to access the engine if you can see those hinges over there there are four hinges that are there to lock this uh, the seats on top and over here you have this velcro kind of a thing this is like uh, if i just try to this is how you close it and then the velcro comes on top to close the engine like you can lock it and then you can do the velcro thing so if i try to close this and show you how it is done you just put this down these hinges are there to lock it and then the velcro portion comes this is the key of this high jet you have this separate remote for lock and unlock buttons and a normal key that's about it you have like the Hatsu's logo over here in order to open this fuel button you have a button over here that you press like this to open this so when you step into the car you have your power windows you have airbag steering you have dual airbags so like you have two airbags the seat recliners are over here so if you want to recline the seat this is where you have those recliners the seats look extremely comfortable uh, when you get into the car you have your air conditioning vents over here you have a cup holder over here you can see this is your instrument cluster just a normal speedometer fuel uh, gauge your mileage your the gear that the car is in 
Let me just see. It's extremely deep in there. You have your trip A and you have your I'm sorry this is not trip B and that's it. This is a button to engage and disengage the four wheel drive option. So if you want the four wheel drive option you just press this button if you don't want it you want to drive it as a two wheel drive you just disengage this button also your light dimmer button is over here in the center you have this cd player this is all aftermarket i'm sure this one did not come with a cd player of this sort this is an aftermarket cd player your hazards button is over here climate control automatic gearbox your lighter stock ashtray is given over here you have a storage space over here underneath the gloves compartment and then you have your gloves compartment which is like this another cup holder is over here you have these tiny door pockets in both the doors you have power windows now if you remember in the van variant there was this whole storage space over here on top this car does not have that storage bin going all over like there was a loft kind of a thing up there you don't have any vanity mirrors and you don't have any TV, any vanity mirrors at all there is one dome light in the entire car other than that there is no dome lights because now we are sitting at the back of the car this seat is reclined all the way at the back and the leg space is not that good head space i mean <laughs> this is a high roof ceiling so i mean i can have like probably three four heads fit in up over there you have these normal old school windows not power windows at the back uh, you have these headrests which are kind of like uh, not part of the seat but they are headrests and this rear seat doesn't feel that comfortable if i want to fit i can fit in two adults with one kid but uh, three adults would be an extremely tight fit so when you come to the back of this truck you have your tail lights in the bumper just like the van variant you have this whole tailgate and this keyhole is given but there is no key stock so it's you don't really you can't lock it and you don't need to lock it we can it. so this comes like all the way like this and this is like a belt that is uh, there it's an interesting mechanism and if i get on top i can easily get on top but if you can see the space that is given over here so like there isn't a lot of space considering this is a 660cc key vehicle so you don't have a lot of space over here but this whole thing is closed and you have a uh, rear bed of the truck so these are all the interesting things in this car now let's take this car for a road drive all right so now we are driving this high jet um what can i say it's like a interesting visibility wise vehicle i mean the headroom is like a lot of head space uh, the side visibility is also decent the air conditioning like the best thing is that these cars do have air conditioning so air conditioning is also really good the car is easy to maneuver in and out of the traffic since it's a small sized car the front visibility is not that good because you really can't see much at the front but the otherwise the car has decent visibility now this uh, pickup version is all around like the cost is around a million rupees that's how much these cost and i mean you don't get anything for this kind of price so in terms of price i don't think that this is a uh, not a good option this is a very good option the car has power steering the parts are available uh, because it, except for the rear fenders and the rear bed this is essentially the same vehicle as the uh, pickup version so all the parts the engine and everything is the same you can easily find the parts of this vehicle so the fuel average is not that bad being a 660 cc car you can easily get a 15 16 out of this car seats are comfortable and if you are looking for something which is not 
the run of the mill like you don't want the same car that everyone is driving then this is an interesting car uh, a poor man's vigo if i must say this is all about our review of this uh, highjet pickup please let us know in the comment section what do you think about this review till next time bye